Well, we want to praise the Lord this morning, and that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Special directions. For many of us, we're looking for directions on how to live out our lives. Mm -hmm. Which way to go? What to do? How to make good, sound decisions? Even what food to eat in order to keep our bodies healthy and sound. Just plain English, we need directions. We need a sense of where we're going. God not only wants to, but God will give his followers directions. Keep in mind, Elijah just experienced a great miracle from God. And a lot of born-again believers don't understand this, but at times, when God does great miracles in our lives, that's our weakest point. We see this to the mighty prophet. Verse 2 of that chapter, and I'll read it. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah, saying, So let the gods do to me, and more also, if I make not thy life, at the life of one of them by tomorrow, about this time. Elijah also knew, so he thought, he knew what was taking place. A lot of times we get in trouble as believers because we think we know instead of knowing. As Mickey read, Elijah told God, there's no one else but me. But that's not true. Let's look at verse 18. If y'all got your Bibles open, I pray you do. We can't tell God what to do, and we can't think what God is thinking, unless we're with God. Verse 18 says this, Yet I have left me 7,000 in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which has not kissed him. God is God. And there's going to come a time this church is going to be full to the ground. Mm -hmm. Because people are going to find out they can't make it on their own. Mm -hmm. But we need to get into the Word of God, especially now. Amen. Number one, special directions, God gives wisdom. James chapter 1 verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and unbraideth not, and it shall be given him. We need wisdom. You show me a person who thinks that person is so smart, that person is not giving God the ability to give that individual wisdom that we need. And we need it now. The world gives wisdom as far as the world understands wisdom. There are many today, as well as some throughout history, 
who don't even know or believe in God that has accumulated learning. I'm not talking about death. I'm talking about godly wisdom. How to make proper godly decisions to point us in the directions that we need to go. The direction this church needs to go. They got people complaining about the price of gas. Well, baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. The wisdom that we need is the wisdom of God. Now I believe this. I wouldn't preach it, I wouldn't teach it. I'd stay home watching something, I don't know what. But there ain't nothing I really want to watch. But for those who are concerned about the price of gas, which affects everything in the supermarket too, by the way, this is what I do. Instead of complaining about the gas pump, I say, okay, Lord, you says, try me and test me. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Now, either God's going to help me or he's not. But he's not going to put gas in my car to go to the boat. <laughs> right? Right. Oh, yeah, but I might win some money. Yeah, yeah, come on, baby. <laughs> the next week in church trying to get money from them. For those who put what? Godly wisdom. The world gives wisdom, so we think. To get your money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking about something. The world gives God, the word gives, ooh, and don't fool with that. But God gives godly wisdom. We all need to make the proper decision today in order where we need to be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Without God's leading, what we do today might not be what we need to be doing. Mm -hmm. In order to get where we need to be tomorrow. The wealth now of a believer is not how much material wealth you have, but rather how close you are to God. Amen. That's it. That's it. I had to laugh a little bit. I laughed a whole lot. When I got through laughing, I had to laugh some more. <laughs> This wealthy individual died. They put him in a solid gold coffin. And some highly intelligent person said, Boy, does he know how to live. <laughs> All the gold in the world, in the world, It's not going to buy your way out of whatever you get ready to go to, baby. That's right. Because when this breath leaves you, there's one or two places that individuals are going to find themselves. In the presence of God, in the, or in the presence of His judgment. In the presence of Satan. But God gives godly wisdom. How much does God 
And make it, uh, uh, excuse me, that was good. How much does one allow God's influence to affect your life? We need to pray for each other. That we will be filled with the knowledge of God. In all wisdom and spiritual understanding. As followers of Jesus, we can have wisdom and knowledge. Paul goes on to say that we can be filled, be filled, and I believe. That means nothing like it. When we ask God to fill us with His understanding, He will. And that's important, important to me. Very important. I'm thinking about young people getting ready to get married. How many times have I heard this in counseling of a married couple close to divorce? But I love him, or I love her. I don't agree, but I thought I could change him. You can't change nobody. Only God. Only God. Amen. Amen. Now, God gives wisdom. God gives direction. And this is what I want to share. Jezebel, the queen, actually she was really the king. Ahab wasn't much of a king. Jezebel Let's say more than a page. <laughs> yeah, we can laugh, but it's the truth. Yeah. And she told this mighty man of God, I'm going to do this to you. He said, Oh, yeah, you've got to catch me first. And he cut the children. You see, he didn't ask God where he needed to go. He went to hide. And you know the best place to hide? In the midst of the battle on your knees. God says he will cover you with his wings. Now that means, I don't believe God got wings, but if he wants to cover you with his wings, that's okay with me too. You don't run away from your enemy. You face your enemy head on. Yeah. Before you stand in front of a moving vehicle, you better make sure you play it up and God told you to. <laughs> you might look like a sore But God gives directions. God told Elijah to go back from where he came from. To me, it would have made more sense. When Jezebel gave him that love note, I'm going to kill you, buddy. <laughs> if he'd have got on his knees and said, God, what do you want me to do and where do you want me to go? But he took it upon himself. Self-preservation. All right, we're back to verse 15 now. It would have been more simple for him to stay where he was at before he left. He wouldn't have had to come back. Huh? He wouldn't have. Go back from what you came from. Go back north. Elijah was afraid of this woman. Well, let's look at that for a second. 
Why was she afraid? She must have did some bad things. She must have been a bad woman wearing pants. Her reputation followed her. But now I say, go back, buddy. I got more stuff for you to do. God is telling us that right now. God has got more stuff for us to do. How many here knows what a python spirit is? Anybody? I don't hear that much preached today. But maybe I'm wrong. The python spirit is a real spirit. It will wrap itself around you and when you take a breath, it squeezes you. So you can't take any more breaths. Don't let the python spirit grab a hold of you. Start praising God. Start worshiping God. And see if your life don't change. Amen? Amen. When one is in the flesh, we have a tendency to make wrong decisions. We need to be in the spirit. Let me give you an illustration. I don't do this, never did. I don't play the stock market because I'd rather put my money in the offer. But let's say you got a stock that's pretty cheap and you got word that it is going to grow. Put a hundred dollars in it and you get a hundred thousand money. Well, it ain't bad, huh? You gotta have a hundred dollars to talk with, though. <laughs> All right, everybody's telling me, get that stock. Get that stock. Well, if you don't get on your knees, and you go ahead and say, well, you know what? I'm gonna get me five hundred dollars worth of it. I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna have me a convertible. <laughs> Nineteen fifty six. T bird convertible two cents. <laughs> and I'm gonna lie down the highway and people gonna look at me. <laughs> yeah, you believe. They looking at your pocketbook. You made a decision with your eyes and not with the spirit. Three months later, the stock went to nothing. Don't let people influence you that the power of the Holy Ghost to influence you to make the proper decisions to go in the proper direction that God has got you to go. Amen? This is important. Pray to God. You know what? I sort of laugh a little bit about it. <laughs> <clears throat> what is laughter to the bone? Health. It's the marrow to the bone. You want to be healthy? What do you do? Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, woo woo woo, ha ha ha. I feel better already. I'm being healed. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. do that three, three weeks ago. I can do it now, baby! <laughs> Amen. But here's the thing, though. Elijah traveled many miles to get where he was at. He wasn't in the right place. And God said, go back! Trust 
they dare he to save the old lad. That poor donkey would have said thank you. <laughs> that might have been a camel and a chariot. I think he run on foot though. Then God told Elijah what he wanted him to do. He had work for him to do. For those who call themselves prophets, make sure that they're on their knees and in the presence of the Almighty God. As the world is headed today, right now, we don't need words from an individual. We need words from the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pray y'all with me. Amen. Amen. God had things for Elijah to do. Anoint Hazel, king of Syria, Jehu, king of Israel, Elisha, the prophet that's going to take your place. God got work for us to do. Number one, the work is to be on your knees. Number two, ask for godly wisdom. Number three, go about doing what God wants you to do. Amen? We all need directions now. We all need directions on how to live our lives, how to make sound decisions. Yes, God gives his followers special directions. Yes, we as believers have to have the special directions. No more about what somebody else is doing. You worry about what you do. Amen? So I say amen to that? Praise the Lord. Now we don't have an invitation. If you're saved, praise the Lord. If you're looking for direction,